हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज रोहित सिंह एंड दिस इज द सेकंड वीडियो ऑफ रिएक्ट एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी मेकिंग अ स्टॉप वॉच एंड व्हेन यू आर थिंकिंग ऑफ स्टार्ट लर्निंग रिएक्ट सो द सेकंड ऐप दैट यू मस्ट बिल्ड इज स्टॉप वॉच सो इन दिस वीडियो वी वी विल बी बिल्डिंग दैट इन दैट ऐप एंड yeah so this is the blank react app that you can create uh, using this command npx create react app and here it is the app name is my app here you can change your uh, uh, change this with your app name and yeah so for uh, so for this uh, uh, reference uh, you can watch uh, this uh, counter app video here i am making this react app from the terminal and yeah so for, for reference you can go through that video so this is the blank react app and with one h1 tag and so here we need to uh, create a stopwatch so for that we need three button so i will write button from keyboard and a multiplication sign and then three and when i press enter it makes three button so here first i will write a start then pause and then this will be a stop button yeah so here we need to uh, so seconds so we will be uh, making that variable so let's say this time and this is set time and we will be using use state hook with a default value of 0 and we will show this time in h1 tag yeah here we need to change this to 1 after 1 second so we will use set interval so set interval takes our function and the time in millisecond so 1000 millisecond will be one second and here we can write our operation so we need to increase this time uh, by one after one second and refresh it so here we can see one two three but uh, let's see so we can see it is changing uh, now at some fast rate so uh, so let's see this in console okay so it crashes my browser so for every re-render of this components create one set interval and and after one second uh, it creates one set interval so so a lot of set intervals are running here that's why it is showing something like this so let's stop this for now okay so now we need to run this set interval only once so for that we will be using a react hook that is use effect hook in use effect hook we pass one callback and here we write our logical operations and here in the second parameter uh, the empty brackets mean uh, this use effect uh, or this function will run only once when the component is mounted and here when we pass our dependencies so whenever something is like if we pass time here so whenever the value of time changes so this function will run so for now we need to run this set interval only once so let's cut this set interval and let's paste it inside and now uh, save it and refresh it so the year value changes to one and uh, it's a stop so this is basically happening because this set time is not getting its previous state so basically it is so uh, so every set time is getting its previous state as zero and it is in increasing it one uh, so 0 plus 1 is 1 and that is uh, uh, showing in the in the UI so so here we need to uh, fix this so 
you can pass here a callback so this callback takes a variable but uh, you can name anything so for now naming convention i am naming it as previous and and we can return here previous plus one so whatever is returned from here uh, it will be set to the time so so here uh, whatever we pass this will be the previous state and this is uh, provided by use state hook so now refresh it and we can see uh, uh, it is running but uh, it is running twice every one second so in the older version of react uh, this issue is not found so for the newer version uh, we need to return uh, we need to uh, clear this interval whenever this component get uh, unmounted so here we will uh, need to do this something like this so so here we need to uh, figure out uh, uh, somehow we need to identify which set interval is running correctly so for that uh, let's make one function here uh, let's say handle time cut it from here and let's paste it and let's run this function here and it is running same so now we need to somehow identify the set interval so we can uh, name uh, the set interval something so here we will be using another react uh, that is user let id equals to user if and this is not defined so let's see. okay so so basically user ref hook is used to uh, store the reference or or some value that is not going to change or whenever this component get re-rendered so so and uh, the values are stored in whatever is the name of variable and dot current here id dot current uh, holds this uh, set interval function so here we need to clear this interval and we need to pass this id so we will write id dot current and we will save it let's replace it so here it is running now we need to uh, uh, add some events to this button so when we click on start so it will start this timer so So when we click this, so we need to uh, run this handle time function, and and we'll copy the same function and let's paste it in pause. So when we click pause, so we need to clear this this uh, clear uh, run clear interval. will pass id dot current here and this will be a function here if we type pause so it get pause and when we type a start it is start so here instead of this stop we will be uh, making it as reset yeah. so when we click on reset so it will reset this value to 0 so we will be writing event for that we will pasting the same thing and we will be clearing this interval and we need to run two functions so we will be first we will be clearing this interval and next we will be uh, setting this time to 0 yeah. So we'll save it and then start it. So we don't need to run this when component get mounted. So we'll remove it from here and we'll save it and refresh it. So here it is zero. So when we click on start, it starts the timer and when you click on pause, it pauses and 
when we again click on start it starts and when clicking on reset it stops and reset the value if you like the video give it a thumbs up in the next video we will be updating this stopwatch uh, so that it looks exactly same as uh, this uh, stopwatch that we see in our phone stay tuned by subscribing to the channel yeah thank you see you in the next video